computer. All right, we're ready to go. Hey, everyone, uh, Dustin here. I'm super excited. Um, we're going to be doing a special training for really the expansion into the UK, into the EU, across the globe. And um, as being with Prove It for eight years now, I got a piece of advice about seven years ago that's changed the way I, I built my business. Um, and it's something that it's, it's in some one hand, it's unforgivable. Uh, and it's the foundation. The gentleman that gave me this advice has been making over $100,000 a month since 1997. Uh, in a company that he, he was a promoter in and utilizing the philosophy that I want to give you guys. And so it was really cool. The first time I got to meet this guy, he he, had, he goes, I have 10 minutes. What do you need? And uh, and so we all had our pens and paper out. We're all of our, you know, writing things down. And he's like, if you need a pen and paper to remember what I'm going to share with you, he goes, you'll probably never have success. So uh, I am okay with you writing this down because I don't want you to forget it. At the same time, um, you guys hear me still okay? My internet's a little unstable. Okay, good. At the same time, um, I want to share this with you all because I always want to remember it. And so if you'd like that piece of advice, um, I'd love to share with you. Just give me a drop down in the chat. Say yes. So I know that you're awake. Um, and when I started Prove It, I didn't think of Prove It as an opportunity to, to create a financial legacy for my family. That's not where I was starting. I wanted to make an extra five grand a month. I was willing to work my tail off for it. I was willing to, you know, my commitment was two years to get to five grand a month. That was my commitment. And I was willing to do whatever I needed to do to get there. And, um, and so I would always say that one of my best, best skill sets um, is generally just being coachable, teachable, leadable. When somebody tells me to do something, I do it. That's it. I, I'm not somebody that tries to complicate things. I, I, you go this way, I'll go that way. Like, just tell me what to do and I'll, and I'll go do it. At the same time, you start to learn your own flow and your own personality and your own, your own traits within this journey. But the foundation of success is really going to be the same. And so I love to share it with you. There's three main tips. I actually added my own caveat to it. Uh, so take that or leave. And I'll tell you what I added to it, just so you guys can have that or not. If you don't like that, just throw it away. Because the three tips that I'm going to give you has been the foundation of our success, um, of multiple people's success. And especially if you want to build a long-term uh, residual income in community-based marketing. And I say that because I'm on calls a lot with people that have been have done this before. How many here have done a network marketing, direct sales, community-based marketing, MLM? How many of you done it before? In the chat, just say, yes, I've done it before. Um, if you've never done it before, that's awesome. I'd never done it before. So for me, it was something new to learn. I, I've been researching it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to learn how to do it. So I've been very interested in it. But a lot of people I meet, have done it before. And I always ask them the same question. I go, are you still being paid by that company today? And they go, no, most of the time. I very actually almost all, I always it's no. And I'm like, why not? And what I learned is that they didn't learn how to build a business. They were excited about the product. They maybe shared the product, but they didn't actually learn how to build it as a business. And I was like, well, well, I, would I want you, if you want, the day that you decide to transition away from Prove It, if that ever would happen, I would at least want you to make sure that you got a residual income from it because that's what you're creating, right? The long-term residual income. So if you guys all want a residual income that you can create as much or as little as you choose to, I want to give you exactly what he said to me, plus my little added bonus, okay? So if we're ready for that, uh, give me some jazz hands. This will be fun. So- Okay, there it is. And hey, really quick, anybody doing watching Keto Academy with us? I know it's really late there. Uh, we're trying to work on some stuff uh, for you all over there across the pond, but uh, it's been really, really cool so far. But either way, here we go. Number one, number one tip, okay, to create a long, sustainable income. This is my uh, number one with an asterisk. This is my personal add-on to the three tips, okay? This is my personal, so you can disregard this one. You gotta be excited. If you're not generally excited about, about what the product is, about the opportunity, and listen, you can be excited about ketones and you can sell a lot of ketones, but if you're not excited about your future or what Prove It is going to help you create in your life, meaning uh, if it's abundance, if it's financial freedom, if it's travel, if it's time, whatever that might be, if you're not excited about that and you can't translate that excitement, listen, I'm super animated. I, I, I'm not as animated as others, but I got a lot of energy, right? If you're not excited, what happens is, is that nobody wants to follow you. You got to be excited. So if, you got, if you're not excited, get around excited people because you'll get excited. Okay. But I want to reiterate that again. You got to be excited. Now, 
traditionally in community-based marketing, network marketing backgrounds, it's mostly around the financial opportunity. Well, Prove It brought to the world the number one breakthrough in health, supplement, health, uh, you know, health and wellness and supplementation. So it's easy to get excited about the product. I'm going to reiterate this again. You got to get excited, but it's really, really important that you're not just excited about the product. When people say that to me all the time, I'm excited about the product. I'm excited about the product. Well, guess what? You're going to be really good at talking about the product. The person you're talking to may be like me when I started and I needed the business. I didn't need the product. If Michael would have pitched me the business, I wouldn't have joined or the product. I probably wouldn't have joined him. I'm going to say that again. If Michael would have, would have just pitched me the product, I probably wouldn't have joined him. He didn't. We talked about the opportunity to change my life forever. So I want to be clear with that is you got to be excited. Now you can be excited about the product, but be just as excited about what is going to create in your future if you really want to build a sustainable business here. Because if you're attracting customers, you're probably going to have a harder time transitioning that into a business. Doesn't mean you can't, just means that you have to do more work involved here. But I want you to do both. I want you to be excited about both. Okay, that's my little my little add-on. You got to be excited. Okay, you can forget that if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want it. the direct information. The three tips I got from an unbelievable entrepreneur is this. The number one thing he said, if you want to have successful and prove it, is you have to do third-party validation. If you're selling and closing everybody yourself, you will ultimately not have success. I want to say that again. If you sell and close everybody yourself, you will not have success. And the reason why, the reason why is because it's not replicatable. The more amazing you are, the more excited you are, the more that the person that you just got involved is less likely to share because they feel like they have to be you to do it. It's subconscious by, by the way. So what does that mean? As soon as you attract somebody, as soon as you do a post or you talk to a friend or a neighbor or whoever it might be, the faster that you can stop talking and get them a resource, a video, another person, a guest call that does the validation. That's the thing that needs to validate it, not your voice. Are you guys tracking me here? Does this make sense? Does anybody want to unmute and ask me any questions about that? Let me ask you this question. How many of you do all the selling? Do all the talking? You can sell people on ketones. You can sell people on Prove It, and you're the only one that talks. Or are you world-class at just letting the tools do the work? Are you world-class at letting the tools do the work? This was hard for me, why? Because I actually knew a lot about ketones. I'm a talker. So Christy Walker, she said, I used to do that. You have to, you're ba it basically create as, have as much excitement, create as much curiosity, and then let something else validate it. Let a video, a person, I have no problem letting Sarah validate for my new promoter ever. She, I'd rather her do it than me. Yes, I've been in proof for eight years. Yes, we've done very, very well for ourselves. Yes, she's just beginning, getting ready to launch a country. She's just relatively new comparatively. I would rather her tell the person about the product or her tell the person about the opportunity more than me talking about it. Why? Because that person now goes, oh, well, I don't have to be in for eight years. I don't have to be the first in the company. I don't have to be the leader of the company. I don't have to be on all the Zooms. And I can still do this too, because she can do it. Does that make sense? Does this make sense? Y'all tracking me here. I want you to check yourself. It's not about, it's about excitement. It's about how many conversations you can create. But from there, you want to measure how many times you can get somebody to watch or listen or see somebody else or something else, a video or resource, validate it for you. It's part of the process. Does that mean everybody's going to buy once they validate it? No. But what it does mean is it means it's replicatable. That person now knows all they have to do is share a video. So true story, I'm at a, I'm at a valet checking out get my car. And the guy goes, what, what do you, what do you do? Like, what's it? You have all this energy. What, what's going on? What do you do? I'm like, Hey, what do you know about ketones and ketones? He goes, nothing. I go, you drinking ketones yet? He goes, no. He goes, what is it? I go, hold on a second. I go, here's two packs. I gave him two packs of ketones. I was in my car. I gave him a video. I go, I want you to watch this video and I want you to drink this. And then I got his phone number and then you're going to text me back in an hour. He's like, all right. So why did I give him two packs and why did I give him a video? Well, I did this because guess what? He was walking back into the valet booth where his buddy was at. So what did he do? The buddy goes, what's that? And he goes, I don't know, but let's watch this video. They watched the video together. 
Do you see how I didn't have to sell the guy? The video did, and he already shared the video to a friend. We already got two people interested because I shut up. If I would have talked a lot, he would have went in there and his friend would have ignored him because his friend doesn't even understand what the guy just said because it wouldn't have made sense. But the video explained it all. Is this tracking for you all? I want you to visualize all your customers, all your people going home and sharing their video that you saw to somebody else. Okay. Hey, Alexander, let your sister sit there. You sit by him, okay? All right. So that's number one. Number two, you ready for this? Y'all ready? Is this, is this helpful? I know it's basic. I know it's simple. Is this helpful? I do need to charge my computer. I'm going to go get my charger in a second. If you're ready for number two, I want you to put in the chat what you think number two is. So in the chat, put what number two is. All right, did anybody guess it? So number two, if you wanna build a long sustainable business, improve it, and you wanna create, crush it and make an unbelievable income and impact lots of lives around the world, if that's what you want, number two is this, is our rewards plan is simple. To build a business, improve it, it's get three customers and two promoters. That's all you're teaching. Go MVP, get three customers, two promoters, three customers, two promoters, three customers, two promoters. In the chat, I want you guys ever to do that. Two, two promoters, three customers, two promoters, three customers. It's hitting MVP. He said the rewards plans in all these community-based marketing are designed for people that don't understand business. If you think about it, how many people have you met in Prove It that are like super business savvy or like business, like I've learned business because of Prove It, but I wasn't. And I didn't know anything about business until I met Prove It. He goes, they built the rewards plan in so it's simple so that you can follow it. So don't complicate this, right? It's three customers and two promoters. Does it mean you're going to be perfect at three, two? No, you might get five promoters and one customer sometimes. You might get five customers and one promoter sometimes. That's okay. But it's really about going MVP. If you master MVP as often as you can, if you master MVP, think about it. If you bring in two, pro two promoters and three customers with a new promoter that just joins you, just think about this. Well, if you can help them get one or two of their MVPs to MVP, what do you have? You have four more promoters that you get to work with. And what if you help two of those or three of those? Well, now you have 12 more promoters or eight more promoters. You have all these promoters that are able to work with. Well, why is there a difference? Well, if you only bring in customers, you're only teaching people how to lose weight. If you're bringing in promoters, you're teaching people how to build a business. So remember, the rewards plan is simple. It's three customers, two promoters. That's the goal. That's the kind of the standard that we want to shoot for. And I don't want what happened to us in the States where we started out that way and then we switched over just everybody signed up a bunch of customers. Well, what happens is you have nobody to build a business with anymore. So you have to go and create that. So I want you all to start off with the, the standard, go MVP. So he said, number one is third-party validation. Number two, don't complicate our business. It is simple. It's conversations. It's stay excited. It's conversations. It's validation and maximize the rewards plan. Think about this right now. If you went to 100 people and said, listen, I'm going to help you make an extra $1,000 in the next 30 days. $1,000 next 30 days. All we have to do is get two promoters and three customers. That's it. It's not a mountain to climb. It's not a huge hill. Does that make sense? When you start thinking about the, the legends or whatever else it is, it becomes so big, people don't want to do it because it seems in, in, unfathomable. So the goal is, is that if you hit MVP, you tell people what you did. Well, this is how I did it. This is how I did it. Now, if you only did it with customers, you probably don't have much of a business yet. So we really want to change the standard to two and three, two promoters, three customers, two promoters and three customers. Is this making sense? Y'all, this is the, I got 10 minutes. I'm giving you guys more in 10 minutes than he gave me. This is the 10 minute talk I got. He goes, if you want to build a legendary business, improve it. He said, third party validation and you just simplify the rewards plan, focus on the one benchmark that you need to know, which improve it is MVP, MVP, MVP. It's developing them and teaching other people how to do it. It's, 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 it's building one and then developing new ones, okay? Any questions on that? Is this rocket science? I hope not. 
I hope it's super simple because if you're doing anything other than this, if you're learning how to be a TikTok master, which is great, go ahead and do that. That will not pay you anything if you're not doing these two things. Does this make sense? You can become a social media wizard, spend hours and hours and hours in building that. If you don't do this, none of that will matter. Y'all cool? Y'all tracking me here? Cool? All right. This is all I got to learn when I started. I didn't know anything. All Every single person that I got on a call with, all my doctors, all my friends, I just got them on a three-way call and the three-way call sold them. Most of the time, I wasn't even on the three-way call with them. I was working. I let somebody else close them for me. What was that? Third-party validation. Okay, y'all want number three. I'm going to give you number three. Everybody want number three? I'm not sure. I don't know if I see it. I, I don't know. Do you guys want number three? Is this helpful yet or not? All right, here we go. I like it. Participation. What's up, Ian? How are you, sir? No, keep her down, please. Um, it's very dangerous. I got my, my daughter in there with my other two little ones. She's right through that window, but it's like I'm super nervous. Um, here's number three. Number three is you go to events and bring people to your events. Your proportional of your business, Sarah, your belief higher or lower since going to the event? Way higher. Ian, is your, is, your, is your belief higher or lower after going to the event? Do you think that if you would have had 10 people at that event, your business would be going bigger or slower? Bigger. We put millions and millions of dollars of trainings together. And I'm just going to tell you, even though sometimes the time zones don't work out for you all, we've been doing this for eight years and we've had people that stay up all night. The committed people will be committed. We are working on also some, some logistical things to impact more people's life without making everybody stay up all night. Um, so just stay tuned to that. That's a work in progress. But here's the deal, is the company spends majority of its extra resources outside of just product, product manufacturing on events. Why? The event is designed to train people to become better. Better people, better understanding, better business-minded, um, better just ever are better provers and who's going to be better at training them. The company that's been doing it for really 30 plus years, because obviously all the experience that goes into it or you who just got started, you or them, sorry, the company. So if you really want to build a long-term legacy business here and you want to have a strong sustainable income, you come to events. It's like 300% higher uh, income for people that go to events than people that don't. Just to put it in perspective, 300%. So if you made $1,000 every single month, 300%. I want you to think about that math. I think it's actually three times. That makes it you go to 3,000. It wouldn't go to 3 million. It wouldn't go to 3 million or, three, three, or 300,000. But it's three times. So basically you're three times, you're getting three times the income when you go to events. If you don't go to events, you don't get that same kind of income. So people go, well, hey, the events are expensive or there's a time commitment. What's it worth? If you want to create a $5,000, $10,000, $100,000 a month revenue or income, then if you don't follow the system, you're not going to get the return, right? So that's what he said. He goes, listen, he goes, the, the company's going to train your people for you. Why would you want to waste all your time doing that? So if you find yourself right now doing all the trainings, if you're training people how to build TikTok, you're training people how to do this, you're training people how to do this, you're training people how to do this, you're wasting your time when you have world-renowned experts that have built multi-million dollar businesses over the years that have already done it for you within the company. Let them train on it. You take your time to get excited to introduce new people to the business or to the product. Is this making sense? One of the biggest pitfalls I did is I got into the training mode. I wanted to train everybody on how to do social media and how to do this and how to do that, how to do that. Well, when I was training, guess what I wasn't doing? I wasn't recruiting. My business wasn't growing if that makes any sense. So the three, everybody in the chat, I want everybody to list out the three. Third-party validation, rewards, just put MVP. Third-party validation, MVP, events, 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 events. That was the secret. That's what I got 10 years ago. And I told him, I go, listen, I'm just gonna do what you said. Now, the hardest one for me to focus on was the first one. Because I, as I got smarter and as I got better, I wanted to talk more. So I have to program myself to stop. If somebody walks into my house, 
they go, they all often see my car. What's your car all about? Like, oh my God, you should hear my wife's story. And I just let my wife tell them and I leave. I literally walk out because I'll just keep talking and I won't shut up. And that doesn't build my business. That sells people on me. And it doesn't build our business because they can't replicate what I just said or was going to do. Cool. All right. I'm going to take five minutes. Um, that's, that's the world. That, that is the training. If you want to be a world-class in community-based marketing, master those three things. And if you commit to those three things, I'm just telling you right now, next year when we're on this Zoom, I'm going to hear your story, your testimonial. You're going to tell me when I follow those three things, I'm now a rank seven. I'm now a car earner. I'm now running towards the legend and prove it because I followed those three things. And I can see now how I can create a legacy for my family. I can pass this on to my family who's in the doors right here. So with that said, I'm going to shut up for a second. I wanted to uh, open this up to any questions. Any questions at all, just rip. Open up, ask me anything. Um, if I can't answer it, I know Christy's on here. She probably could. Uh, she's way smarter than I am. So um, any questions, anything at all, I want you to ask me. Now, silence isn't acceptable. I know there's a question in there. I don't care what it is, but ask me any question. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Sarah. I would love to ask you, if you were starting brand new today, what action would you take? What would, what would be the one main action that you would take if you were starting today? I would talk to everybody and let, let them, I would talk to everybody and, and disengage on the outcome of if they do it or not. I just don't care if they say yes or no. I would talk to everybody. Um, but when I say that, I would say it with a clear intention of what my goals were, you know, so my goals, if I was to say that I would be like, Hey, you know, if I was in your guys' shoes, I would say something like, you know, well, the truth is, is, um, I'm recruiting in the UK and Europe right now because why not? And I'm saying, Hey, listen, I'm right. I'm looking for, this is what I'm going to tell them. I'm looking for the right people that want to help us expand an unbelievable brand product and company over in Germany and Italy in name one of the. 38 countries or whatever it is, the 28 countries we're, we're doing over there. And I don't know if you're the right fit or not, but I saw your profile. You seem like a badass. You seem awesome. Let's connect. If you can speak English, let's, let's chat. That's it. And then I'll say that to hundred people and then the right person's going to fit. And then from there, like, what is it? Here's a video. I might send them three videos because I want to know if they're committed. Hey, watch these three videos. Tell me what you think. What videos do I send? I send the campfire video or the NASA video. I send the Brian Underwood video and then I shot my own video that I sent them. It's just a filter. If they don't watch the videos, then they're not that, ex they're not that excited or I didn't sell it to them well enough, right? They didn't get excited about me. So therefore, I'm, that wasn't the right fit for me or I need to change my approach, right? That's all I would do. 80% of your time is about talking to new people to join you and prove it. Right now in, in, in the UK and Europe and wherever else, it's not a customer conversation. It's a promoter conversation. Should you disregard customers? No. But if you want to launch a country, you got to bring a team on, if that makes sense. You need, you need a team. Hey, I'm looking at putting a team together. Karen, you have a different demographic than Sarah. You know, Fiona, you have a different demographic than Ian. So I'm looking to put a team together of blah, 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 of moms that stay at home and working moms that want to, that want to go to part-time. I'm putting the team together of X, Y, and Z. And are you interested? So, and the truth is, is that's what, that is what I'm doing now. So you see me on less and less team Zooms because I don't need to train. We have all, the, we have every training you really need in the company already. So I don't really need to spend much more time doing that. Yes, we're building a new LCD out. So it's, it can be utilized in the future. So that's a time commitment. But 80% of my time is talking to new people. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm checking out Arizona. I want to expand over there. We don't, right now, we don't have any heavy hitters there that are looking at building our business out, but ketones are hot. There's a huge financial opportunity. Are you interested? Are you interested? There's a, there's a, there's a key phrase there, Sarah, is are you interested? Are you looking for more income? Are you looking to do something different? Are you looking for, so to create better for your family? Are you looking to, you know, to take a transition in careers? Are you interested? Are you looking? If they're not looking, then I don't need to talk about anything about prove it. If they're not looking, they're not interested, if that makes sense. I'm always looking and I'm always interested because I'm a curious person. 
right? I say no to a lot of things. I said yes to this one. Cool. So it's selling the idea of a team, not just a couple of promoters. Yes. Yes. You're, you, what are you trying to like? Think about what you're really trying to create. You want to create a, a, a army of of soldiers, right? But in your own, you know, if it's moms, if it's dads, if it's moms and dads, right? If it's just you know health focused people, you know, right now, if you've lost thirty pounds, Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that how much you drop? Two, a little over two stone. What's that? About forty pounds. Forty. Okay. So Sarah's dropped literally, you know, almost three stones. She could go and build an empire off of just that alone saying, listen, I'm just looking for people that need to lose 30, 40 pounds that want to go create a financial future for themselves. So I have the perfect product to drop the weight, but there's a huge business opportunity behind it. And she literally just starts hitting that one message, but she could also use, you know, I'm looking for moms that are like me that work a lot, but are trying to create more time freedom for their family that want to still make a big impact and, 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 are, and are with a real reputable company because that's going to be important to Sarah, right? That's that, that status part of what company improvement represents, right? Not that it isn't to other people. I just know her story. So she could build it all off of those same things. Does she really want to find, you know, a 55-year-old man that's partially retired, that's skinny as a rail that likes to run marathons? She may not have much in common with that man. And he may ask a lot of technical questions that consumes all her time. And yet there's no relatability, right? There's no connection. Not that he's a bad man. It just might not be the right fit for her. Jesse Lee does not attract the same people as I attract. Does that make sense? We all have different tribes that we're trying to build. There's actually a book called Tribes. Um, you should check it out if you really want to look at building a team because you're really trying to attract a version of yourself. But to attract a version of yourself, you have to become somebody that you're not now, meaning you're becoming better. And I want you to write this down. You are the most qualified to coach the person you used to be. So if you're brand new with Prove It right now, you are the most qualified to coach the person that is not in yet. If you've hit rank three, you are the most qualified to help the person to go from rank zero to rank three. If you hit rank six, you're the most qualified to help the person that went from zero to rank six. You're the most qualified to help the person that you used to be. And you don't have to make money and have, have a huge transformation to be somebody else. You already took a step forward in the commitment forward. You really just need to be one chapter ahead of everybody else. That's it. Any other questions? Come on. How about a scenario, a scenario that you're in that you would rather be in a different one or you're, you, you, you need to get around or get away from? Come on. All right, so this is my advice to everybody out there as you're watching this, if you're watching the replay, you're watching it live, is do this is you have questions. And I, I, I think there is dumb questions, but not many. Um, so you know, people always say there's no such thing as a dumb question. There are a few out there, but not many. But write these questions down. They sometimes can be the most valuable thing that you have is just a little perspective. Like give you an example is, is you know, I feel like I don't know who to talk to, or I feel like I, I don't know, I have nobody to talk to. This is a common one. I don't know, like I'm not, I'm like, I feel like I can't talk to anybody. Well, the reason why most people can't talk to somebody is they're, they're stagnant, they haven't, so what you do is you set a goal, but you could set a health, a physical goal. Like if, if you're stagnant in your, in your weight loss journey, you're probably stagnant in your business journey because your belief has went down. But as soon as you go for a, a health goal, as soon as you go for a health goal, what happens is you get out of the house more. And then next thing you know, you, you attract somebody to talk to. So I always tell people like, if, if you really, if you really feel like you're in a stagnant place or not moving forward, set a goal, but the goal can be anything in your life. It doesn't have to be just business related. It can be anything in your life. And so you set a goal and then go pursue that goal. You'll see other things fall in, in your place. So it doesn't have to be just, how do I recruit more people? It might be, my goal is to, is to, you know, join three networking groups. Sweet. Go join three networking groups. Guess what? You're going to have more people to talk to. So you have to set, set different types of goals for yourself. Maybe it's a health goal. Maybe it's a relationship goal, whatever that might be. Have a question. All right, hit me. 
We'll take one more and then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, jump off. Unmute though, if you don't mind. I, I prefer people to talk to me. <clears throat> Perfect. My question. Hi there, Dustin. Uh, my question is that how. So I'm I'm totally for the three ways. I totally respect about the resources. However, <laughs> not even however. My question is. What do I do when you attract influential in individuals that obviously have been following my journey, interested in what I'm doing? And then I say, how would I word it to say, you know, um, you know, I'm fairly new, wouldn't want to miss, uh, miss, you know, give the wrong information or however I would word it to get on to a three way with, you know, whether it's Amanda or, or Michael right. without, right. without, without, without kind of demystifying without kind of making me irrelevant, if that makes sense. Because if someone's kind of pitched me up as like, wow, I'd really love to work with her, I'm motivated, I'm driven. But then I turn around and say, oh, let's have a three way. I don't want to take away from the yeah, hype. No, I, get, I get I get, it, I get it. So if you have a strong personality and you, you bring a lot of influence yourself, like why would I have to connect to somebody else like, like without just devaluing you know, yourself? So there's some situations where you could do that if it's like, you know, you can position people. So like I can do that with Brian Underwood. I might get on somebody. I'm like, hey, you know what? You really should meet our CEO. I think you, we can do some high collaboration. Um, you would call maybe Michael your business partner or Amanda your business partner or business partners. Yeah. Would, I'd love you to meet them because there'd be somebody you'd be also working with. So it's not devaluing you. It's a line, you're aligning yourself with them. Remember, when you're doing three party, third party validation, it's not to devalue yourself. It's just to remind people that they don't have to do it. Right mm -hmm. now, also remember is that you don't have to validate just through a third three way call. You can validate through videos. You could go, hey, listen, I need you to, I want you to watch a video. This is the guy from the United States that helped, it's helping us launch over here. He's been a big, big cover role. And just watch a few minute videos of, and maybe you have a video of mine that you like, or maybe it's a, a, just a message from our CEO. So you're using that as the validation. He's going, oh, wow, I like that. Now you're associating yourself with that person. So it actually gives mm -hmm. you more value too. Um, mm -hmm. The big thing about when you when you recruit influencers is that what's in it for them and is it big enough? Michael would have used small numbers. I wouldn't have been that interested. I need it bigger. I need it bigger. Because mm -hmm. for me, making an extra $1,000 a month or $50 a month or whatever it was um, would have not cut it because it wouldn't have done, I, it just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been worth my time. He said mm -hmm. 50,000 a month. I was like, well, five grand would be great. I can do five. Right. So sometimes with influence, you want to kind of paint a bigger picture too. You may undershoot yourself. So that's a, that's a, that's a technique that takes practice, uh, by the way, you can never go wrong with your story. Now, if, if, if you go tell an influence, if, let's say that you don't have a lot of influence yourself, you might go to somebody and go, you might go to somebody and just literally flat out go, you know, I'm going to go make 10 grand a month with this company because I watch people like me do it all the time. And the person that's looking at you might go, well, heck, if they can make 10 grand, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crush this thing, right? That's a good problem to have, right? Because then the person comes in and sometimes they have an ego. That's okay. We don't mind egos. Like they'll figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. Because they might not work. A lot of our biggest ego people didn't beat the person that didn't have influence. The person that had work, hard work ethic does. Mm -hmm. So I hope that makes sense. But just keep in mind, you don't have to give away your power to do third-party validation. The validation doesn't have to be a three-way call. Frankly, some people are really yeah. busy and they don't want to get on a call, but they'll watch a video. Hey, well, watch a five minute video. But sometimes you have to sell it to them. Like yeah. I, at some point, you're going to meet my business partner too, because if we're going to do this, we're going to need our whole team together. And I want you to know that person. So does that make it feel like it's more of like yeah. your team rather than your a subordinate? At no point yeah. are you trying to be yeah, a- yeah. No, definitely. definitely. Right? Cool. Yeah, no, definitely. I wasn't trying to make out as if I was like already a superstar making thousands and thousands because obviously I'm at the entry level of my journey. But I've been around enough for people to be like, oh, actually, and my inbox is filling up and I'm like, oh, I don't know how to approach these people. And I definitely know I can't do it by myself. So I totally get I can't do it by myself. But I just wanted to get the language or the mindset. Yeah, yeah and videos. Mindset. Like, hey, there's a video. I got to take in this video. You got to check it out. It's unbelievable. That is a third party validation isn't just a call. It's a video. And remember, it might take three or four validations. It might take three or four connections. Mm -hmm. right you, the person's got to get excited so sometimes people over connect too quickly without enough relationship right and so that's just part of the conversation that takes time too you might just need to ha have more time okay 
Um, and you might say that, like, if your inbox is blowing up, you're like, literally, my inbox is on fire right now. I'm going to, one of you influencers are going to come on and build this with it. I don't know if it's you, but I, I, I got a call with so-and-so. Yeah. So tell them what call you have coming up. And like, I, I'm, they're, <laughs> they're coming. I'm going to talk to them tomorrow. I don't know if, where you're at. Cause then they, cause people just get busy in their life. So you can create fear or loss. These are all yeah. more advanced strategies to be honest, but they're valuable because. Of course. What you're trying to do is get that person out of their own way to, 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 to take a deeper look, right? And sometimes we have to be use strategies to do that. And so I hope that makes sense. Well, hey, y'all, um, I super, super, super excited. What I want to do is this. Um, we're working on something new. So I want to, I want to put together a strategy in the chat. I want to do, um, I want your suggestions on another guest call, but I want to do it differently. And so in the chat, I want you to think through, if you guys, even you can stay on here if you guys want to for a few minutes, but I want you to come up with an idea of like, if we're gonna do guest calls, I'm okay with a big one. I often like a lot of small ones. Like, like I'd rather get on with three or four people at one time with like a small team, because then we can have a really intimate conversation about the person rather than just a, a general overview. So if you guys would like to set up like private guest calls, we can do that. Um, but I want you guys to think about it. What does that look like? But, or do we even need one? Or do we just do like a short video? Maybe you guys want to shoot like a, you know, we could shoot, I'm just making this up at the spot right now, but maybe we get like, you know, four different personality types, um, maybe it's different parts of the, the regions of the UK and the, in the EU and just say, hey, you know, this video is, if you got this video in your hand, it means that somebody is inviting you to join us with Prove It. I just want to tell you, this is why I'm here. 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 And then maybe I finish it with, Hey, we're expanding globally. We'd love to introduce you to it, um, you know, and maybe partner up with what you guys, you know, who you are and what you can do here with us. Um, I'd like to invite you to a call. So we can do that too. Whatever you guys think we could do, I would like to just be more collaborative than just talking all the time. Does that make sense? And Sarah, if you want to pre-record a video, how long, what do you want shared in that video? So these are all good information I would like to have. What, which voices do you want to share on it? Maybe we need to do four different pre, pre recorded videos. I'm just curious. So you guys willing to take that offline maybe and communicate and then hit me back on that. And then let's execute something at the end of this week or early next week. I can't see anybody. I got four of us. What do you think? Can you do that? Awesome. All right, let's go. Christy Walker. All right, guys. Uh, you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Get ready for Keto Academy. Coming to you in a couple hours. <laughs> oh.